Today's tip is about beginnings, and specifically, if you're a poet, about first lines. But I think there, there might be useful things here for novel writers and fiction writers too. If you have one of those huge anthologies of English poetry through the ages, it will have in the back an index of first lines. Go and look at that, run your finger down that page and see which of those first lines makes you want to stick around for the second line, because not all of them will. Uh, the social media poet Brian Bilston has a poem called Index of First Lines, and it begins... Also, I am bleeding profusely, so please stay for a while. And it includes other lines, including, please don't do that, it's disgusting. And today we shall make strudel. None of them, of course, goes on to give you the whole poem, but I want to read those poems. I want to know what happens next. So that's what you need to do. Look at your own beginnings and think... Do they hold attention? Sometimes we're so focused on getting to the part that we think is important, stage setting for that nub of the poem or the novel, that we forget the reader has not signed a contract to say that they're obliged to stay for the whole show. If they're bored, they can just go and make a sandwich. They have other things to do. And with a poem in particular, you have so little time in which to hold their attention. So do them that courtesy. Give them something at the beginning that makes them want to stick around. 